Welcome to C.S. Joseph Podcast. I'm your host, C.S. Joseph, naturally. Today's episode, we're going to be talking about why S.I. Demon just doesn't happen to believe in God at all. It's very fascinating a question. A lot of people don't really understand, you know, why that is the case. S.I. Demon you know, they belong to INJs, and INJs can become insanely nihilistic, especially when it comes to anything spiritual or religious. And I think it's because expert sensing inferior just wants to have confidence that there is some kind of higher power or there's something that is leading to, you know, a creative force. It may be because they're lacking an input or maybe because they're lacking understanding or information about the particular topic. I could go on and on about certain books that they could read, like for example, The Tao Te Ching or uh, Illusions by Richard Bach, which really, these couple books really kind of explain, in my opinion, the overall nature of God and nature of the Creator. And as much as I could say, yeah, sure, read the Quran, read the Bible, read the Upanishads, read, you know, all these different uh, spiritual related books. Yeah, okay, sure. The thing is though, is that at the end of the day, you gotta understand something about extra sensing inferior. It has to have confidence, it has to have absolute confidence in what it knows and what it believes, because if it doesn't have that confidence, it'll just default to the, well, nothing actually really matters, SI demon perspective. It really comes down to nihilism. You know, nihilism, especially, you know, from a Friedrich Nietzsche standpoint, you know, God is dead, we killed him. So, is that really Nietzsche's point? Is that really the direction he's trying to go with that? No, not really. It's basically stating that humanity was going in a direction away from God. And that's even talked about like in the writings and the works of Elena Blavatsky. This is where I'm talking about occult teaching for those of you that think I'm an occultist. No, I'm not. I just studied the occult for a lot of years. I read Manly P. Hall, Albert Pike, Blavatsky, all these people to understand their belief system because I knew their belief system would ultimately affect me. And that's the thing. Just because I study other people's belief systems does not mean that is necessarily my belief system because it's not. I will heartily reject uh, Blavatsky and Pike and Paul and all these people. Uh, Alistair Crowley as well, reject him. Some people really support them. Uh, Jiddu Krishnamurti as well, I reject that guy. But the reality of the situation is, is that people have these different belief systems and their belief systems they make decisions on and their decisions could have consequences that directly impact me and my family. But according to Blavatsky, she talks about the new age, the age of Aquarius and how, you know, the age of Pisces or the age of the church will basically be in effect ending. You know, and the symbol of Pisces, that's like the Jesus fish or whatever, you know, that people talk about Jesus being the representation of the age of Pisces. But it's now the age of Aquarius. The age of Aquarius started in, uh, I believe it was December 21st, 2020 was the first day of the age of Aquarius, which a lot of people don't even realize the age of Pisces is over. It is over, we've moved on. And with it, the church is dying. That's why like eventually uh, people who are, you know, Christians are into the church slowly but surely that will just cease to exist and it'll be a huge minority they will just they will be the minority on this planet more than ever before they've been a majority but now they are becoming a minority which if you think about it is absolutely necessary in order for you know certain biblical prophecies to come true as a result but that's neither here nor there introverted sensing demon you know because of cognitive orbit it is attached to extroverted sensing inferior Expert sensing inferior is known as the confidence function, right? It's all about confidence. 
and they want to have confidence in their beliefs. So oftentimes, expert sensing inferior ends up having this seeing is believing perspective. A seeing is believing perspective that you would often hear about from SPs. SP types are also known as the artisans. They are the least represented in church. And it's only, you know, you'd only find the SPs in church that are not very successful in life, recovering alcoholics, recovering addicts, etc. cetera. Uh, maybe people with a criminal record and they just feel bad about themselves, be it through guilt or just actual feeling bad about themselves with their FI, if they're like an SFP. And then they're motivated to go to church because they've let other people down in their life or whatever. But it's not because of, if none of those things ever really actually happened, they probably wouldn't have ended up going to church anyway. And that's what a lot of people don't understand about SPs. SPs themselves have to have complete confidence in what they believe and what they know because from their point of view, it's seeing is believing. But what makes it difficult for INJ types is that INF, INJ types, they with SI demon, they're abstract. So they know that it's certainly possible that there might be some god out there who created humanity and created creation as we know it but the thing is is that their expert at sensing inferior still demands that they have confidence so they have an aspect of seeing as believing and unless they actually have an experience themselves or they observe somebody having an experience uh you know with with god etc then they're not actually really going to be spending much time investing like with an fi child investing in it or in a ti child it's not necessarily that they would invest it they probably just wouldn't really think it's very true or they may think many things are true simultaneously because of how their expert thinking trickster uh directly impacts uh you know via cognitive orbit their introverted thinking child you know for infjs so they end up having this perspective well anything could be god anything you know anything could have that label anything could be spiritual anything this and they end up adopting multiple belief systems entirely whereas the grand atheist the intj will adopt zero belief systems because of ti critic getting in the way fi child's like okay why should i invest you know is there is there anything that i'm going to get out of is there any return on investment what's the concrete here seeing is believing and that's literally why introverted sensing demon struggles so much with nihilism the INTJ nihilism is a nihilism of rejection, whereas the INFJ version of nihilism ends up becoming a belief system centered around universalism. And they end up just deciding to adopt everything. Hey, people value this belief system, so it might be true. I'm going to adopt it too. So they end up becoming too accepting of belief systems and don't filter them out, whereas the INFJ filters out all of the belief systems simultaneously. And that's what really inhibits them from being a part of organized religion. Which I don't mind that because I think, you know, organized religion overall is like, it's a crock of shit, to be honest. That's, that's my personal perspective. I'm not here to like get in everyone's face about it. But I wholeheartedly reject organized religion because I don't like how the affiliative has fundamentally transformed church beliefs. You know, for example... Nowadays, there's so many false things being taught in mosques. There's so many false things being taught in churches. There's so many false things being taught in temples. And it's because people don't apply critical thinking. And, and that's literally all I would ask INJs to consider. You know, it's not a bad thing if you're an INTJ being very nihilistic and rejecting all belief systems. It's not a bad thing that you're an INFJ who's accepting of all belief systems and becoming a universalist per se. But what is bad, what is bad is if the INTJ or the INFJ, in spite of their SI demon, are, if they're not applying critical thinking to their belief system. Because the INTJ has to realize that if they're like an atheist and they're rejecting of all belief systems by default within their own inherent nihilism, if they're having that perspective, they have to understand that nihilism itself is too a belief system, which means they still have the responsibility They still have the responsibility 
to apply critical thinking. And that's literally all it requires. Apply critical thinking. And that's why introverted sensing doesn't really believe in God. It's because they're not taking the time to learn how to critically think and apply that critical thinking after they've learned it specifically to whichever belief system that they're considering or looking at. And they don't even have to consider a belief system for themselves. They don't have to be looking at a belief system for themselves. They can just use their extroverted sensing to observe other people's belief systems. But why aren't these people, why aren't these INJs putting in the effort, which is what their SI demon wants them to do, why aren't they putting in the effort to critically think about those belief systems? And the fact that they haven't is ultimately why they're so nihilistic or why they're so universalist with their perspectives. It's really frustrating. Like, we're talking like insanely frustrating. And it's hilarious to watch INJs be so judgmental with their FI child superiority complex or their TI child God complex when none of them are willing to put in the effort and actually apply critical thinking. They'd rather outsource their thinking to, you know, what people know or what people claim or outsource their thinking to what people value, you know, the INFJ side, instead of actually putting in the effort themselves because INJs are all about them shortcuts. Their NI hero loves them some shortcuts. How about not taking a shortcut, which is what their SI demon is trying to teach them, you know, when their SI demon goes SI angelic, introverted sensing angelic is, hey, you need to put in more effort. And let me tell you something, folks. Critical thinking takes a lot of effort. Anyway, thanks for watching, folks. Hopefully that answered that question. I'll see you guys on the Discord tonight.